Construction work underway for the new Foxconn facility in Mount Pleasant, but still some homeowners are holding out on selling their property for the project. Where am I going to live now that you want to take away my home of 28 years? Now a move by the village tonight to may pave the way for those homes to be taken by eminent domain. Our Ricky Mitchell is live near the construction site with the latest. Ricky. Well, Carol, we spoke with a woman who lives less than a mile from where work has begun on the site, and she says she is willing to sell. She just doesn't think the village has treated homeowners very fairly. So this is our um, mudroom. Kim Mahoney um, says she and her family have lived in this home just over a year, but they spent so much more time planning and designing. This was going to be our forever home. In October, they learned their home is within the area Foxconn needs to build its 22 million square foot manufacturing campus. Since then, they've been trying to negotiate. The village of Mount Pleasant is currently offering 140% of the appraised value of the home. They're not willing to consider homeowners offers, even though they're telling the media and everybody that every homeowner has sold their home willingly. They're doing so under the threat of eminent domain. The redevelopment plan recommended by the village of Mount Pleasant's Community Development Authority tonight now calls the area where Kim's home is a blighted area, meaning the new plan could give the village authority to use eminent domain to take any remaining properties, though village officials say that's premature. A statement from the village reads, if eminent domain is utilized under the redevelopment plan, it will only be used as a last resort and would only apply to just a few homes within the entire project area. But I don't know of any homeowners who wanted to leave this area and who wants to be threatened uh, that if you don't sell, then we're going to take it anyways. And now the village has already acquired about 80% of the land that Foxconn needs right now, but the plan recommended tonight still needs full approval from the entire village board. That's expected to happen next month. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. Okay, Ricky, thank you for that update.